Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at using a switching diode as an RF switch. So instead of using relays or any method to switch RF signal on and off, we're going to use a switching diode. We're going to use a 14148 and what we're going to do is we're going to AC couple the signal in and out so only AC passes through and we are about we're going to bias the diode in such a way that as soon as the, the diode turns on it's going to pass the AC signal through. Uh, the simplified circuit looks like this so our signal is AC coupled in and out and we're going to use a control voltage to turn this switch on and off just like a relay you're going to use a voltage to uh, magnetize the relay and the contacts will obviously uh, get contacted and you get the signal passed through. This is a test circuit we're going to use. We're going to use a 555 at the one shot timer. So we're going to press a switch and uh, the time the 555 is going to stay on for a certain amount of time set by the RC, the resistor and the capacitor values here. And then we're going to have our heart of the circuit, which is the RF switch, uh, the one for 34148 diode here and is biased by the output of the 555 as you can see here why a 5k 5.2k resistor and a switching diode on the output so we don't get anything going back into the 555 in case things go wrong so that way it just switches on and off and we got a LF357 set as um, inverting amplifier with a game of about 20 21 22 and we're going to see the output so we're going to probe the input right after the first AC coupled capacitor then we're going to look at the output of the diode AC coupled right after the end and we're going to look at the output of the amplifier to see what kind of signal signals do we get so that's the circuit uh, let's pass that put that away and uh, let's bring the circuit into the shot as you can see here so what we got here we got a set of probes we got our signal coming in here and this is our switching diode here we got our 555 we got our switch here we got a led just to show that the 555 is on and then we're going to look at the ac coupled signal which is going into the diode we're going to look at the output of the diode and we're going to look at the output of our uh, Amplifier, operation amplifier. So let's just set the voltages up. Uh, we're using um, plus and minus about 15 volts to set everything up. Gonna make sure I don't blow things up because there's a lot of wires to connect. Let's turn our signal on and over here, and we can see by pressing that we get we get our signal going in. Okay, now let's look at a scope. Here's the scope. Okay, everything is AC coupled, so it's going to be wiggling around. So the purple trace at the moment is not obviously. Let's see what we're doing here. Let's bring it down. Let's put it up here. Okay, so what is the purple trace? The purple trace is the input of our signal. So this is what we're getting from the signal generator. This is the output of the diode, and this is the output of the operational amplifier. So let me just grab something so I can see. So the output of our operational amplifier, our signal in, and the signal right at the uh, back of the switching diode. So if I turn it on, you can see the output comes on. So if I hold it down, you can see here we are, and here you go. So let's just bring this one down as well because this. So we can see this is the output of our operation amplifier and this is the input signal and this is right at the end of the diode basically. So if I let go, you can see the only signal coming in is which is our signal coming in and we get nothing at the end of the diode and we get nothing of our operation amplifier because the, bio, the diode is not biased so it's basically turned off. So as soon as we turn the diode on, operation amplifier on, this is our signal and this is the output of our switch. Very neat little circuit. Instead of using, uh, instead of using basically relays, we use diodes to switch our signal on and off, which is a very elegant and nice way of doing turning signal on and on, on and offs. Well, let's just look at our. Uh, Okay, let's just have a look at the viz of our circuit again. So here we go. 
this is good obviously the 4148 is good to lots of you know high frequencies you can use even better diode instead of this you can use a higher frequency diode the only problem is once you start going into really really high frequencies then you're going to have crosstalk so you're going to have a better circuit design uh, at the moment we're on the breadboard so we're only dealing with about around six megahertz which kind of okay we're not going to have any uh, cross talks and you know signal jumping around but if you go you know up into uh, double digit megahertz then you're going to need a uh, design your circuit really good so you don't get any cross talks and things like that but it's a very nice and elegant way of turning signals on and off you can use it up to like you know even low frequencies you can use this as well uh, it's best to use a switching diode it's not it's not a good idea recommended to use a, a you know rectifier diodes and things like that because they don't have really good recovery but the switching diodes things like this is good for up to you know couple of tens of megahertz which is really good and this is just a simple test circuit you can forget about this and you can just use this as a you know as, as a switch to turn signals into your operation amplifier on and off uh, i hope you enjoyed this uh, short video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and um, you know consider subscribing it helps the channel and it helps me to provide more information for you guys so you can use into your projects and things like that uh, till next day, I hope you enjoyed this video and until next day, have a good day.